You guys, um, I just pulled up, oh my goodness gracious, I don't even know why I'm getting so much weight. I feel like I do, well, I'm at a Sonic. <laughs> We have a lot to talk about, so I hope you got some tea or whatever. First of all, um, I can't wait for my brand new base masks to arrive. I got black, which should be very slimming and should hopefully cover up the double chin. See, this is why I love mask culture. I really do, because the double chin, that's the only thing that's like not going well for me, sis. It's my double chin. If I didn't have a double chin, if I had a nice big old jawline, like a pit bull or just like, you know, like, like, injections i don't even know like just you know just you don't want to mess with this man like that like that type of thing you would say i'm attractive and the weight would not even be that big of a deal because i mean bellies are cute on guys i love chubby people <clears throat> girls too well i'm I mean, i'm with a man okay so um shine bright like a diamond are they listening even though i didn't push the button it's like they say the iphone's listening even if you don't um, a little announcement for people. I do a lot of talking in the second half. So if you're here for the story time, skip on over about halfway through. And also, consent or whatever. It's always listening. Yeah, people are saying about the, um, well, we're not going to get into discussion about vaccines. But all I want to say is people are, some people say certain ones could be putting little nano chips in there to like track you. And they're so scared that I'm like, you don't think your iPhone's tracking you? You don't think the apps are tracking you? You don't think your webcam's going on and off without your knowledge? You know? Who knows what's happening in this world? Also, I also, also, I need to just say right now. Should I make my order first? Yeah. Um, I have been so ill physically. Well, mentally too. <laughs> well, that's been going on forever. But um, physically, I'm physically not well. Should I put this for a little? Oh, <gasps> um, I'm physically not well, you guys. And it's because I had seafood. So it's so ironic because... Is that music? I had someone talking. I'm like, oh my gosh, I better not have music. Copyright. Anyway, so um, like I was saying, so I had seafood. It's so ironic because in the video, I was like, mm, I don't feel weighed down. Mm, I feel light. Remember? I just did a big old seafood boil. I spent $200. I did a seafood boil. It took forever to clean. That's why I don't do seafood boils. And I used to do them so much. Trying to like push in the algorithm. And I'm like, you know what? I just... I, I, I like it as a treat. It does taste good, but it makes me so sick. I don't know if it's like durian, the sulfites in it, whatever. So I did the seafood, right? And I, I, while eating it said I felt refreshed, whatever, like I said. But then the past 72 hours, I have been constipated, which I'm... Ne well, I'm going to the bathroom. I still go to the bathroom twice a day, but it looks different. Do you ever look down in there? Okay, we're not. We're about to eat. It just, it doesn't look, it looks so skinny like snakes. Like, how dehydrated am I? I still drink my gallon of water a day. That's the funny thing. I still drink a gallon of water a day. And my body's just like, no, 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 sir. And I've been having my collard greens. I ate an entire head of iceberg yesterday. And it just, I feel something not right. It could be, too, that I just started probiotics because I just finished the antibiotics. Could be a coincidence, but I always feel bad from seafood. You guys know this. So. Yay, we're not going to talk about anything gross in this video, I promise. Because we're going to hang out. This is going to be nice and classy. I'm a classy. I'm a classy boo. I'm a classy girl. At the Sonic Oo. Um, we are just pulling up. So, yeah, we're going to try to do two videos today. I feel like I just need to push things out. Push things out. We need we need more food. More food. I think that's the solution to life. And see these bags? I only got four hours of sleep yesterday. The day before, I only got three. I tossed and turned. Oh, my God. And I feel like I need more carbs because seafood. Oh, look at my hair. Oh my God. All right. Enough of ADD Nikocado avocado. Let's take this off. New crunchy, cheesy, melty comfort. I'm going to try that. Okay. Actually, thank you for telling me about that. So let's make my order. Excuse the stains. It's just my tears from... It's my water weight coming out. <laughs> also, it's so cold. Like, I literally had the windows up, and it kind of feels nice. I'm, like, cooking in the car because, you know, when light hits glass, you cook. But um, let me calm down. I'm so excited because here's the thing. I've been kind of complaining. Also, my skin looks really good. <laughs> I was learning all about veneers, but we're not going to talk about teeth today. But last night I was. Let's take these off when I need them. All right, so I kind of know what I want. I'm going to get the things I like. So Sonic is like one of those restaurants where I just like, if I don't get the right things, I really am disappointed. So I'm going to get the things that I love. And I'm going to order them for you right now. So let's just do this. Here we go. 
Hopefully they're nice. Hi, can I please try the new Fritos uh, sandwich wrap? Yes, I'm gonna do a French toast stick. The holidays are here and 2020 has been rough. So I'm gonna make you a personalized eight minute long video on Cameo. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great Christmas present. Link below. No, just the French toast. And can you put in um, a few extra syrups too for me? I, like, I really like syrup. And then I'm gonna do two soft pretzel twists. And then, and then I'm going to do a croissant sonic sandwich, a croissant sandwich. And then I'm also going to do um, a large tots. The sausage, egg, and cheese, please. Um... Let's see, uh, can I uh, just do the sandwich, not the meal? Um, but can I get tap water, is that okay? And a cup? No ice, please. But just a large cup of water would be nice. Okay, so, I don't know how much of that I'm gonna show on camera because her voice, I also don't wanna include, and oh my gosh, at least my skin looks good. That's the only compliment I ever, I ever get from people. And my hair. People like my little number two pencil hair. Even though I'm, I think I'm losing it there. I've been putting in some little vitamin uh, things. But yeah. So I'm very excited for this. Oh, they have an app. Oh, I should have used the app. You get like points and little free things and half price stuff. But uh, well, see, again, we're not going to go into conspiracy theories. We're not going to talk about what's happening because I can't tell you anything. But um, again, I'm just throwing that out there. People say the vaccines might spy on you. Well, what about your phone? What about apps? What about your computer? I mean, shoot, even my security cameras in my apartment, probably, well, they're monitored. Of course, people are watching. It's just like, I guess I'm less freaked out about it because... I'm an, I'm an open book and there's so much out there about me that I've put out deliberately. Everything's been exposed, you know what I mean? <laughs> it, 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 like here on YouTube, like I'll fart, I'll cry, I'll, <laughs> I'll make messes, if you know what I mean. And I'm just like, oh well, who cares? I'm actually really excited to try this uh, cheesy melty comfort. It's called a chili cheese wrap with burritos. Anyways, um, so I did not get the breakfast burrito. I really do like the breakfast burrito. I also like their foot like uh, their foot long coney hot dog. I do like that too. And I also like, uh, maybe I should have gotten more. Is this enough food? I mean, I kind of want to finish everything. I got the two pretzel twists, which I love. I got the brand, the sandwich. I got the, this should be enough food. Yeah, this should be enough food. Okay. <laughs> just because I want to eat everything. So everything I ordered, which I'll probably include, I'll just have to blop out, blop out about her voice or something, um, is what I love, especially the pretzels. I should have gotten three pretzels. Oh my God. Pretzels. Oh, security camera could be spying on me. You never know. It's probably listening. Oh, I have three cameras going around the car. And because, you know, in Florida, they have very bad drivers. And I just like evidence, you know, if someone ever scratches or comes up, I'm just like, okay, I have you on camera. So you can't lie about it. Luckily, I've never been in a car accident ever. Knock on wood or glass. <laughs> Let's hope that lasts. But still, you know, I just, I've seen, oh, actually passing here, I saw um, flowers on the side of the road and it had like a lady, it was like a portrait, you know, or just a, a selfie of or her, just print out on a piece of paper. She must have crashed and passed away at that site. And I see those um, and they're, they're, they really make me sad. You're like, oh my God, someone right there, their spirit left the body, but it just went up to like there, that site. How haunting, you know? So anyways, uh, Sonic is known for their, I'm just going to do water because I'm a healthy boy. And also, I care about my teeth. I, I have a teeth obsession these days. People are so sick of hearing me talk about it. I know. I'm so sorry. Oh, see, I just pressed the lighting to go here. It looks kind of cute. Um, I don't like their tenders. It's not, I don't think they're very good. Their chicken sandwich is not very good. Their cheeseburgers are fine. Yeah. I do like their corn dogs. I guess there is a lot of stuff here that I do like. Oh, do you know why I don't do the app? Because last time I used the app, half the stuff was wrong. So I was like, okay, well, what's the point of using an app? 
<laughs> an app is to make it faster and to make it more com more convenient and you can get the you can get the stuff faster or no there's less room for error i always say when they're trying to hear your voice and they don't repeat it back to you at least here the lady went over everything with me she's like so you ordered this and this and i can also see it sometimes you go to the drive through their screens are not working you can't even see what you ordered you can barely understand their voice sometimes you're like oh. it's like what did you just say to me <laughs> what did you just say are you speaking english <laughs> and you know i don't pronunciate things very well either but i think if your job is to read things back to people or take orders you should make effort to make sure that you enunciate all of your words right if that's your job so anyways i'm gonna try this croissant sandwich i don't think i've had this before oh i should have asked for hot sauce you know what? Since we're going to be eating here in the car, yay, mess, I am going to, um, I'll press the button and you know what? I'll show, I should do it when I get it fresh. We'll ask for ranch and we'll ask for hot sauce. We'll take bites of things. I might not need much of anything. I don't even know. Oh, I don't like the Sonic Ranch too much. Now that I think about it, you know, I just love their, I just love their syrup and I don't even like sugar. But anyway, um, I'm wearing blue because I'm blueberry outfit of the day don't show you the show you the uh man bumps <laughs> i have a man bump down there don't show Ooh. It, ah! i am so sorry oh they have a spicy chicken t sandwich spicy chicken sandwich spicy chicken sandwich i want to order that spicy chicken sandwich i want to order that spicy chicken sandwich spicy chicken sandwich oh so the advantage of the app is to get half price drinks i'm not a drink person so oh well i forget if they have points and stuff um i'm pretty sure they do yeah well whatever excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse you yeah i'm wearing my blue today like a blueberry yay at least my skin looks good. Oh my God, here comes my order. Do you see her? Oh, where is she? Okay, so I just moved uh, moved away from the music because the music was really blasting. I'm just like, I'm, I'm, you're gonna give me diarrhea. So should I have it closed or open? What looks better for lighting? Probably open. Oh, so let's take out my Ms. line. Ugh. I can still hear the music a little bit. We're gonna put the Invisalign here so I can look at it and know don't, don't drive off with that. What do you guys think of my natural teeth? Okay. Okay, so, okay, 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 okay. And I said, who is, oh, it's not who, it's a different word. Oh, that song's very April That was one of my TikTok songs. Follow my TikTok, it's viral. <laughs> my tick, my viral TikTok. It's so funny. They give me a big old water for free, right? Oh, the large water was seventy five cents. That's fine. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. So, well, should I do a thumbnail like this? I never do car videos. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just open this. Oh. Oh. I'm so excited. Oh. Hot and steamy. It's so hot. So there's gonna be crumbs everywhere. It's so greasy. I love these pretzels. Oh my God. I'm gonna put them here. Wow. Put them here. How do people eat in their car? And this is no shade. I see so many people on YouTube eating in their car. I'm just like, it's so messy. Everything gets everywhere in their crumbs. Unless you're paying people to clean your car professionally every week. I mean, depends how often you eat in your car. Here's the new sock burrito. Oh my God. We got napkins. We got cheese. We got the sandwich. We got cheese sauce. We got, uh, oh, we got so much stuff. I'm so happy. Peel it back. Flavors inside. Mmm, inappropriate. Mmm. No! Oh. 
out. <clears throat> okay, cheers to everything falling. <sighs> yes! This is, what I, this is what I came here for. This is literally what I came here for. This pretzel. Mm, mm. Mm. Mm, it's so hot. This is, um, by the way, my breakfast at noon. I woke up with a million things to do and papers to sign. Not a million, three. <laughs> three papers. Mm. We got my cheese. We got my syrups. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's get this party started. So, food, I, I know I'm so all over the place. I told you I'm all over the place. Oh, this is their cheese dip. <gasps> mm. It goes with their pretzel. Someone made a video about me. I'm a little late to the game. He made it. Mm. A while ago. This holiday season, come treat yourself and join my Patreon. You'll get tons of mukbangs and other content not allowed on YouTube. It makes a great Christmas present. Must be age 18 or older. Link below. Mm. And he said... He doesn't like the way I eat. <clears throat> and I said, okay, okay, okay. The reason why is because it's in a mall. By the time I get it, <clears throat> walk it out of the mall, drive it all the way home. <gasps> It'll be too late. Oh, it won't be hot. Oh, you'd think I never ate before. Mmm. So maybe the secret to Sonic being amazing is to eat it in the car. Some food can't handle getting a little room temperature and then being reheated. Some food cannot be reheated, it's disgusting. I did a pizza taste test for you guys. Oh, with that new Papa John's stuffed crust, I'm telling you, I'm a Papa John's fan because of that pizza. If it wasn't for that pizza, I probably still wouldn't be like, I mean, the was nice, but <clears throat> I wouldn't be crazy about it. I literally, some people count sheep to go sleep. Some people listen to like Zen meditative music. Is my camera spying on me? <clears throat> I literally dream of Papa John's stuffed crust pizza now. Let's open up a syrup and be very careful. <clears throat> Why don't they give me like a container to eat in? They usually give you like little white boxes. So I'm gonna be very careful. I'm so clumsy. This is gonna go really, this is gonna go bad quickly. Hmm. I don't know why I like syrup. Okay. You know, considering that I don't like sweets. Just a little bit. Mm. That is the secret to Sonic being good. You have to eat it right away. Maybe that's why I don't like a lot of my Sonic videos. Maybe heat poorly or they just don't taste good. Mmm. Oh, you can't even see. I'm like, <laughs> who am I showing? Ooh. You have to get, you have to. <clears throat> Let's do this. Make me think of my father. Every time hash browns with syrup makes me think of my dad. I, I literally say it every time. Isn't that crazy? I'm always getting mad at Orlin for eating beans. I'm like, Orlin. Well, to, to me, they're just whatever, but... 
he has an autoimmune disease. And a lot of the food he eats affects him, but especially the beans. Anything made with legumes really affects him. But I mean, he does it anyway on cheat days or whatever. I'm like, me not even that special. So sometimes he'll have a cheat day off camera and he'll be making beans. I'm like, really? Your cheat day will be beans? And then he says to me, well, I grew up with it. It's part of my childhood. It brings back memories of my, my family that's still in Colombia. <clears throat> I'm like, you know what? It makes sense now. Hash browns are just fried potatoes. It's not even that special. <clears throat> but it makes me think of my dad. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Now we're going to do the, uh, can I do this first? Just look at it. It's so greasy. I love it. It's like glistening. It's so greasy. Mmm. Mmm. A pile of grease at the bottom. Look at all that yellow grease. Mmm. Tastes even good with the cheese. Mm. <laughs> I'm so happy. Ah, and my new favorite thing from here. Mmm, mmm. <clears throat> it's my new favorite thing from here. You guys watch me on my daily channel you know you know by the way if you're new this got randomly recommended to you <clears throat> it's called more nicocado more nick ocado <laughs> i hate how my name sounds like a curse word okay These are new to me. I've never had this, and this is new. So let's try the Fritos burrito. <clears throat> oh, they're salty too. Well, too. I'm weird. I like salt, but I, also too much salt can ruin a meal for me. Okay. Okay. It's very dry. It's like a dry. Because the chips, chips absorb everything. I taste the Fritos. And the um, <clears throat> chili cheese is fine. This would be horrific if you let it cool down. They wrap it in aluminum <clears throat> so it stays hot. But, <clears throat> so it's fine, but I, it's so like dry. Not dry, but like, yeah, dry. Like these are greasy. That that will turn to horribleness. Then again, I've reheated <clears throat> these at home. They don't taste the same because I use air fryer. The grease is the best. Come on. I love how I ask for ketchup and ranch. I'm not even using it. Oh well. <clears throat> okay. Let's try. <laughs> like eating half the menu. We have <clears throat> the Chris Sonic. Croissonic. 
sandwich. It's, instead of a croissant, they call it the croissantic. Okay, fancy. It's hot. I love cheese. Da da. Yes, I do. It's so hot physically. Excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh, let's go for it. Sausage, egg, and lots of cheese. It's like a, it's like a nacho. I mean, look at that. It's like a nacho cheese. Look at that cheese. <gasps> oh. It's like a, it's not just like a slice of cheese, like McDonald's breakfast sandwich, it's like a little slice, barely even melted. This is like a spread type of cheese. It's gloopy and thick. Or maybe it was a slice and it just melted because it was so hot in this aluminum. Yeah, McDonald's, they don't wrap things in aluminum. They wrap it in just like wax paper. <laughs> oh my God. This is very nice. Oh yeah, I like it way more than the Fritos thing. It's not dry. It's so, so nice. Mm. Excuse me, I'm so gross, but you know what? You all know that. <clears throat> I think their breakfast menu is what makes this very special. You can't get breakfast all day anywhere else. I love their breakfast burrito. It's their um, ultimate meat and cheese one. Not their. <clears throat> I've, I've tried their supersonic too. It's very vegetable-y. I happen to like their ultimate meat and cheese one. Oh, their their croissantic, <laughs> croissantwich, croissantic sandwich is amazing. Love the French toast. Love the tater tots. The only other two things they have is cinnamon snacks, with a cream cheese frosting that you dip. Those are sweet, you know, like candy. And then breakfast toaster, sausage or bacon. So it comes on like like grilled cheese toast. So I should try those, I've had those before. I had the bacon one, I didn't like it. I like seasoned sausage more than bacon. Yeah. <sighs> This hit the spot. I keep looking around for like more pretzel. They don't have it. I ate it all. But these are good too. Mm. <clears throat> How are you today? Are you guys eating with me? Let's hang out. Let's hang out. <sighs> See, unlike the other food reviewers, I actually give the time to show you the food up close. I know you're hungry. <clears throat> I watch some of them. I mean, I don't like to do it. I do it and I drop it all the time in my mukbang room. I'm like, look, and it falls. But I still like to do it because I, I, I think of the viewers and I know when I am watching other people eat, which is rare, the only time I was really into watching people eat was before mukbang was even a thing on the internet. I was doing, um, 
I, I went through a very tiny, small little phase where during my vegan journey, which lasted five years, and for the most part it was a good journey, there's like a good two or three months within that journey, probably, yeah, maybe two, about two or three, where I under ate too much, like I really severely under ate. It was, only, it was only a couple months. I was part of the high carb community, so I learned I learned my mistake real quick. <laughs> oh my god, <clears throat> the vegans just say I was overeating. That was the reason why I was having health issues. Like you know, she eats too much. She eats too much. Yeah. Oh my god. But anyway, <clears throat> I did go through a period where I, where I was under eating, and I'll never forget. <laughs> And it only happened during this. The rest of the time I was vegan, I never, I, I don't think I even ever. No, I was very into the vegan thing. I was, I was very, very into the vegan community and the, the lifestyle of it. I, it made me happy, you know. I got leather, fake leather shoes. I got the leather uh, belts and wallets made out of petroleum, literally. You know, I was really into it. <clears throat> but. Like I said, there's a time where I under ate for like two or three months. Orla was in Colombia. I was in Florida, staying at one of his friends' house, waiting for him to come back. And I have a car. And I have a job. Um, it was a kind of a scary situation too, because I wanted to be <clears throat> only eating raw food, but I had no money or a car. In Florida, you need a car. Um, I was just under eating massively. I got very, very skinny. And what happened was I started watching YouTube videos. I was like, man eating mac and cheese. Cause that was my comfort before I knew about cheesy ramen. Now, if I ever starve, which is never. One time I starved cause Orlin ate some of my food. And I started that bad. I starved real bad that day. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, but. You know, now my now if I would ever go hungry, I would Google Papa John's pizza stuff crust. I would Google Jolly Bee chicken. I would Google cheesy ramen noodles by Nikocado Avocado with a stick of butter. I'd, I'd watch all of Nikocado's ramen videos. I mean, you can tell he really enjoys those. <laughs> but back in the day, <clears throat> I didn't know about cheesy ramen. Mac and cheese was my comfort food, and so I literally just searched on YouTube "man eating mac and cheese," and there wasn't anything called mukbang, but there were videos of very big man like. I'm big, I'm chippy, but I'm not like, I mean like, whoo, big, and he like big old, big hands, he was mixing the pot, and mm, he was like probably 500 pounds or something, and I got so much comfort in watching this big fat man eat a big old pot of mac and cheese, I was like, mmm, and then uh, same with, yeah, fat women too, the, uh, what I watched, uh, four cheese shell pasta, lasagna, I think it, this type of thing, <clears throat> I remember some lady making like, I like cheese and carbs, okay? That's the thing, huh? Um, I never Googled, like, steak. I never Googled, like, mm, man eating bacon or anything. Because I was vegetarian before I went vegan, so I hadn't had meat in my system for 10 years in total. But at that time, it had been at least. Because this was in the beginning of my vegan journey. So when I had the little under-eating episode. So that was, like, year one. So, or no, maybe year and a half. Yeah, because I think I went one full year because I was in New York, and then I went down to Florida. Yeah, maybe a year or two. But um, <clears throat> beforehand, so I had been at least five years without meat, so I was not really craving. <gasps> Excuse me. <clears throat> Why is that man walking around with a bullet, bulletproof vest? Uh, Florida. So anyways... If you're ever starving and you want to watch someone eat food, what do you like to search? Look at all that grease. Oh. <clears throat> mm. It's so good. Look at my water weight. <clears throat> This is so. And do you know why? I think this is part of the reason. <clears throat> I get in a really bad habit of having my day stretch out longer and longer and longer. 
I need a full-time assistant. <clears throat> and then here's the thing. A lot of things like editing and watching things and rendering things, I don't trust someone. Not even Orlin, you know. He'll edit his own videos, but not my, like I want to know what was in that video. If something slips out or I fart. I mean, most of the time I leave everything in. I'll, I'll go like this and I'll literally examine it when I get to it. I'll be like, no, that's fine. Leave it in. It'll get some people to comment. Well, he goes like this. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't take it out. Wow, he's stupid. He did that. You know, it gets everyone a little riled up. It's kind of fun. So, you know. I'm, I, but I like to know and be aware of it. I can't tell you what I did last week. <clears throat> I've probably filmed 10 videos from then till now. But the day and the next day, it's in my mind. Okay, I know what I said and did. Oh, so <clears throat> I get in a habit of... I'm sorry, I do have ADD. <laughs> I get in a habit of stretching things out, you know? Because I work from home. I'm my own boss. I'll be up at till four, 5 in the morning editing and then that's my time too because Orlin goes to sleep and then I, that's my time to like be alone and research stuff I've been on a whole thing about my teeth lately you know I'm looking at comp composite binding my enamel can I just tell you oh let's stay on topic don't do the teeth whitening don't overdo it like I did you will destroy your enamel and never come back period that's what I'm gonna say but yeah so if I'm able to do things in the morning it's noon well it's probably one by now the food tastes better right when the restaurant opens or like when everyone's I guess it was kind of lunch break hour, but there's that in between time between like one and four. <clears throat> it's before rush hour. It's before people get off work. People are done lunch and the restaurant. No, I feel like it's better in the morning at, at 11 where people, it's still a little kind of early for lunch. It really depends on, you know, the, the place, you know, some people don't get lunch break till two. So it's kind of the restaurant opens around 10 or 11 the oil is fresh in the fryer. The workers are less stressed. There's less people at the drive-thru. I went to Taco Bell last night. I filmed it for my channel. I did, uh, what did I do? Oh, <clears throat> I did the nacho fries. Oh my God, it was so, it took 40 minutes, the whole experience, maybe 45 to drive there. Almost an hour probably, now that I think about it. To how to drive there. I sat in line the whole time for them to be like, well, you have to come inside for that order. So I had to go inside. I should have told them I was handicapped, but I didn't because I, I, I'm not a good liar. <laughs> Especially on the spot. I have to think about what to say here. But um, and I was like, okay, fine. So I had to walk inside and they took forever. And there are all these people. People go to Taco Bell when they're hungry. Like when people are hungry late at night, they go to Taco Bell. They should go to Sonic. Sonic's really good too, but... Um, Sonic's good in your car. I don't know. Every time I eat in the car, I'm in love. Every time I eat in, in the house, I'm like, ugh. I think it has something to do with the heat. They, they don't take the reheating well. Long story short, I feel like I'm enjoying my food when I want the first people to get it. You know what I mean? I feel like the people are in a better mood. They're less stressed. There's less conga line at the drive-thru. The oil is one of the first batches and has been used a million times. Yeah, I feel like it's faster. So, I need to get on a habit of filming my videos around <clears throat> 10, 11, 12, 1, 2-ish. And then I'm less stressed to get the video out, you know? Because a lot of these times I'm filming at like 4, 5, 6. I'm like, ah! And I'm like speed watching my video. And I literally barely make my 10.45 posting time. This is for my daily channel I'm talking about. Not here. Here I post whenever I want. Ooh. Look at him. Wow. See, he, he he has a big chest, he has a big belly, but he holds his weight good. See, I hold my weight horribly. That's what I'm saying, I'm like, Orlin, you look good, Chuck. I mean, okay, Orlin, you're a little pushing it now. We both are, but I'm like, Orlin, when you were like 240, 230, I was like, oh. Ooh. You know, that's my husband, you know? It, it feels nice to feel proud of who you're with. <clears throat> and you feel attracted to somebody. And I'm not saying I'm not attracted to him now. But Orlin, he he holds his weight really pretty. Like, it's very attractive the way he holds... The, the way it decides to go. My weight goes to my, ch my damn chin. His does not go to his chin. I mean, now he's starting to get a little double chin because he's 300 pounds. But two... I mean, I had a double chin at 200. I had a double chin at 190. Go to my main channel. Look at my videos from three, four years ago. And I was, you know, 150 pounds skinnier. I still had a little baby double chin. I'm gonna have to... 
See, he's walking back this way. Why is he taking his belt off? Oh, he's loosening things up. <gasps> wow. Can you see in the reflection? I'm just like, <laughs> see, he holds, see, that's a nice chubby boy. So attractive, you know, I, I wish I could be, you know, I have, I just, it's my chin. It's my chin and my butt. It's just, the fat does not, it doesn't go right. It's horrible. <laughs> oh well. Um, should I keep shoving it in or are we good? I'm gonna finish the little croissant. I, said, I didn't really care for the Fritos thing. It's dry, it tastes nice flavor, but I just don't like it. I also, I need to avoid beans too. Orly and I have such similar food sensitivities. It's very strange. We're from opposite, I'm from Ukraine. He's from Colombia. Different, you know, ancestral, up, you know, foods and genes and <clears throat> maybe it's because we were vegan for so long our bodies are a little more similar I don't know we react the same to things so often I don't have an autoimmune disease but <clears throat> okay when it's just the egg by itself it's kind of like yeah. maybe it's just I'm getting full you know when you're full, things taste less good. Yeah, that's what it is. I'll just, I'll just go to the bread. Okay. That was good, though. <clears throat> I wish they gave me another bag to, like, clean up. Yeah. Because I want to take a bag back. <clears throat> I have my sauces. I want to see my sauces. Sauce. Sauce. I'm always needing. Oh, see, it's a good thing I asked for extra. So I always need <clears throat> in my mukbang studio. I'm always like, I'm running out of syrups all the time. All my ketchups, which I didn't use, but I will use in the future. <clears throat> so the rest is trash. I'll just have to get a different bag and bring it all out. Ugh. <sighs> what makes more sense? Should I push the button for another bag? Like, hi, I want to throw my stuff out. It's okay. I'll take care of it when I get to the garage. Uh, yeah, this is... Mm. Ooh. And I said, ooh, ooh, ooh. My favorite part about this was that soft pretzel. Yeah, I want to do any ends, like I said. But I know dang well. I might have to do it in the car. <gasps> yeah! I do it in the car. I mean, I could do it in the studio, but that that stuff will taste horrible. It just always happens. I even went to Cheesecake Factory with Orlin and the pretzels were good, but by the end of the meal, they got really hard. And I remember I turned off the camera, I'm like, Orlin, I'm like, oh, those pretzels were probably so good at the restaurant, you know? Pretzels are one of those things, the soft pretzels, they like solidify. <laughs> and they get like, not very good. Um, I love how they give you little packets of salt as if you need more salt. Let me swish my teeth. That's a little thing I'm trying to do. Every time you eat, swish with water. Buff for the pH. Get some of the acid off. Everything has acid. Ranch. I mean, oh. I'm just... It's always something with my teeth. They don't look horrible. It's just, <clears throat> I'm getting paranoid now, I think, about the trans, it doesn't show up on camera. This camera makes things look really good. Like my skin looks like it's glowing. It ain't freaking glowing. This is just, this is the camera. It's the uh, contrast. No, it looks so good on camera. It ain't that good. Maybe that's why everyone says, I love your skin. Yeah, the camera makes it better. So obviously you're supposed to brush it, but I, I, I wanna just lock it in place. I'll wash it all when I get, you know, back home. Oh, I should, you know what? If I put on the hand sanitizer, I'll get chemicals in my mouth. It'll taste so gross. I know it's full of bacteria. Oh, see, I feel it tight. It's so tight. 
how long are my teeth going to feel? Like, every time I eat, I feel like the teeth shift. Every time. This must be normal. I've tried reinforms. So people don't talk about it. People talk about the process, like, over and over and over and over. But no one talks about their last tray. It please reach out to me leave a comment email me if you had invisalign how long did you leave your last tray in before you received your uh, retainers like every time you eat did you put them in and feel them like t a little bit tight like do, do you feel like your teeth shift and how long did it f go that for i just i feel like something happened wrong or maybe this is just normal like every time you eat, they'll slightly shift. And this is good to put it back in. Even though I've had this for like four weeks, three weeks now. <sighs> but yeah, so I'm just obsessed with teeth these days. One of my friends is getting veneers and I've always said like, oh no, veneers, it's obvious when you have them. That if you have natural teeth, it's so much more beautiful. You know, hi. You know, especially some, a lot of people, actually I'm kind of blessed by my shape of my teeth. They fit my mouth. Some people smile and they got little AB, little corn teeth, <clears throat> little rice teeth. <laughs> What's Trailer Trash Tammy say? Um, there's that man again. <sighs> I'm just like, I don't put it in the right places. Oh my God. I, see, if I look like that, I wouldn't care. But anyways, <clears throat> and I'm kind of like, at first, I'm just like, oh, no, why is she, you know, why is she doing that? And, um, but the more I read into it, the more, and I'm just like, no, it can, it can look really good if you do it, if you do it nicely or maybe pay more money or go someplace good. You do research, you know, you look at the examples of the dentist and, um, they really can improve if your teeth, you know, they really can improve someone's overall smile. But I'm kind of blessed, I have to be honest, where my teeth, again, the lighting right now is not natural. Like, it almost looks like I have fake teeth in. Like, look at that. It, they're not bad at all, my natural teeth. However, I just want to throw this out there. I did a lot of teeth whitening. Like I used the Crest whitening strips and I recessed this tooth right here. See how the gum is like really high. I recessed the freaking gum and it used to burn and burn. I used to feel pain on my gums from the Crest whitening strips. I was in college and I didn't care. I was like, oh yeah, it's, it's working. It's whitening it. Oh my God, I love it. I literally eroded my gum from the acid or whatever's in there. And it's crazy because it says the FDA approved, FDA safe for those Crest Whitening Strips. And you know, and I'm not coming for the company, but in my experience, I wrote it my, my, my gum and every time I did it, it hurt. And they say on the package like, oh, you'll have like a little tingling sensation, it's normal. But I've seen many, uh, many articles written by actual dentists who say like, we warn our clients about all teeth whitening. All teeth whitening has risk that is not properly discussed in society <clears throat> even the ones that they do themselves i saw this great blog by this dentist who runs a clinic and he's like i literally tell my patients don't do like i don't they come to me like can you wipe my teeth at the dentist chair like a dentist grade or whatever he's like i don't want to do that to you just want to let you know you will there's damage done to your enamel so now at the bottom of my teeth i'll come really up close uh, the bottom of my teeth a translucent it's not showing up on camera oh it barely shows up on camera i'm saying this camera's doing wonders for me it shows up <laughs> off camera <sighs> orlin sees it i see it he even looked at me when he's like oh my god they're getting see-through at the bottoms and they've been like this for <clears throat> i noticed when i was vegan and i also didn't care when I was vegan as much. Maybe I care too much now. Um, but acid from fruit can really... I saw this one um, update from some Instagram woman who's a fruitarian vegan. And she eats tons of citrus. And it's like her teeth are see-through and they're turning black. <laughs> so fruit juice can do it. Soda can do it. I don't really drink soda, you know? Anything high in acid, like... Uh, 
I, I'm trying to think like, what do I eat that's very acidic in my mukbangs? Ranch has acid. Everything does. They say swish your mouth with water when you're finished. That's the best you can do, but uh, you can't regrow the enamel. And I've been trying to find ways. And the ways that they say you can are done by non-professionals who aren't running a clinic. And they say, oh, just pour like magnesium on it, pour powder on it from calcium, pour, put iodine on it. Like it's all these like naturopath, like alternative stuff that I tried some of that type of <clears throat> belief when I had this tooth that had to be yanked out and I had a horrible, painful, painful cavity. They, the dentist told me to get a root canal. I'm like, oof. And all these natural path, you know, vegan, holistic, no chemicals, alternative medicine, da, da, da. and many 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 sources they all said swish your mouth with coconut oil now let me tell you i did it religiously morning midday late afternoon evening before bed twice before bed. i kept doing it because i was in so much pain because the oil will kill the bacteria it never worked it ne the hole stayed just as big it was just as painful i did it for months and then i read this thing um alternative medicine naturopath vegan holistic da 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 they said uh <clears throat> Put garlic cloves on there. That's a good natural antibiotic. That did nothing. If anything, it made it worse. It was more painful. And they're all just like, fluoride's bad for you. Don't have fluoride. Don't have fluoride. Don't do fluoride. I'm like, okay. <clears throat> I had fluoride toothpaste my whole life. From the time I was a baby and I came to America. Up until I was 18, 19 when I first did the vegan stuff. Zero cavities in my whole life. And I've eaten whatever I wanted, junk. Well, a lot of vegetarian, like lots and lots of cheese, you know. <clears throat> and then I went vegan. I'm still using my toothpaste. And then I get my first couple cavities. And I'm thinking like, was it the fruit acid? Is it the fact that I'm not absorbing calcium from the calcium that's in these plants? I don't, my first cavities ever. I'm like, what? And so then, you know, I, again, trying to seek advice from people on the internet, which you should never do. And everyone's like, well, stop using fluoride. Stop using fluoride. The fluoride, you know, it basically coats the tooth and the tooth can't remineralize naturally. Da, da, da. I'm like, okay, I'll stop using fluoride tooth. I'll use uh, the, the non-fluoride toothpaste. And then, oh, just baking soda. That's all you need. Make it simpler, simpler, simpler. Less is more. Eight cavities or six, it was like six or seven, eight cavities. And the biggest hole in my uh, my molar it was so deep it, it looked like you could shine a flashlight through it it was like like a like you know like a like a mouse crawled in there and made a, a nest in a hole under the ground like a hole a hole in my tooth it was so big and painful my tooth got eaten alive by the fruits and the vegetables <laughs> or and or it was a combination of that plus the fact that what i ate like yeah i eat junk now but this is why my ex you know the, the dietitian that i filmed with um, he has many clients. I mean, he makes a good living giving dietitian. I did the sushi video with him. He literally said, veganism is the worst diet on earth. It's worse than being a mukbanger. He's like, I think you're healthier now as an overweight mukbanger than you are as a vegan. And everyone laughed and everyone's like, well, how's that? How's that possible? You're not skinny. Isn't always healthy. And this is one of, the, one of many examples of how you can deteriorate. It's better to have what you need and then excess of fat than to not have what you need and just be skinny. Because at the end of the day, if you're not getting it, you're not getting it. Our bodies are designed where they can get fat. They can, they are able to store weight. Everyone gets fat at least once in their life. Most people as they age put on weight, except, you know, close to death. Our bodies are able to do it. A lot of animals can't. A lot of species can't get fat. They gain two pounds and they're dead. You know, we are able to, and it's a blessing. It keeps things away from our organs. And a lot of it's natural from metabolism, uh, from uh, giving birth, from like, think of people, you know, but imagine if you're still getting the nutrients you need versus you're not just going to get them at all. No B12, no omegas, no calcium absorbed, no iron absorbed, low heme iron, like da 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 da, da. I mean, just list goes on and on and on. So, I'm totally just, I'm going on and on, shoot. Ooh, fresh air, ooh, it's cold. It's like 50 degrees. 
I remember one time I went to California. It was my first time. I was living in Colombia. Colombia is hot and humid. And um, I went to California, not really paying attention to with the weather. I went in January or February. And not only, I was not used to that. See, I'm in Florida, so from Columbia to Florida, it's still dry, uh, moist. I kind of like humidity. But, um, <clears throat> if it's like cooler humidity. But um, it was so dry, my, my everything started cracking. And I was like, whoa, it's cold. Mm. Anyways, um, so moral of the story, real quick. Keep using your fluoride toothpaste. In my experience and in my life, it has... And guess what? Ever since I started using fluoride toothpaste, ever since I got that problem in my mouth and the six cavities I had to get filled, plus the root canal, so or not root canal, I, I had it yanked out, you know, yeah. Look at that hole. Look at that hole. Look at that hole in the very back. It, I said to myself, I'm like, F these vegans. Uh, they're not just like, oh, someone, a commenter on YouTube in the comments. No, these are people with YouTube channels. These are people who are claiming to be doctors. These are people who are practicing medical professionals who have clinics and like fasting centers and um, they write books. And even though they're literally deteriorating, they're balding and their teeth are rotten, their eyes are being sucked into their face and they're so pale and like they look ill. Oh, they're a doctor. Everyone worships them in the vegan world because they have MD by their name. And there's really no one else to uh, vouch for their lifestyle choices than this person who's deranged. Anyway, and so it was very convincing for so, uh, just a regular person. Oh, he's an MD. Oh, he has the, the studies to show. Oh, you just shouldn't have fluoride. You're like, I want to fluoride. And boom, all these issues happened in my life. So in my experience, keep using your fluoride toothpaste. Yeah, never had any, I've never had any cavities ever since, ever again. This is my. This is what I do. Fluoride toothpaste. I I now use Pronamel toothpaste. Um, I use a Sonicare toothbrush on a medium vibration, not high, because that could wear your enamel. Maybe. Be extra careful. Don't put on. I, you could put on the low setting too, but for me, I don't feel like it's cleaning good enough. I like the medium setting. So make sure you have fluoride toothpaste. I like Pronamel personally. Make sure you have a Sonicare or some kind of vibrating uh, Sonic toothbrush floss religiously and get the the ribbon floss not the string floss not the little you know those little like little tools they look like shovels you just you know, little picks da, 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 no that you dispose uh -uh. get the oral b that i use i get them from uh costco <clears throat> it's like six in a pack it's like a big old patch like six or ten of them or something and they're flat they look like fettuccine noodles they're flat they're like ribbons they're easier on your gums they have a little elasticity and um they're easier to wedge in between. Oh, number four, I learned this in Thailand. I've been to how many American dentists? I learned this in Thailand. Go around your gums. Don't just pluck it in between every space of your teeth. Like, pluck, 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 which every American dentist have done has done to me. Like, they don't teach people how to floss in this country. I had to go to Thailand and Singapore. I had great dentist experiences in Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, and Colombia. Man, some of their dental stuff is better than here. It's crazy. Well, anyways, the first time, this was three or four years ago, the dentist told me how to floss and she showed me an image of the teeth and how like, here's a tooth and here's a tooth and they meet right in the middle, right? And the gums are up here. here this is the arch where the gums are, right? But you go in between the teeth and you go up against that and then you go up against that. And then she showed me like images of what teeth look like under the gums and how, she's like, never just pluck it down into your gum. You go around, you're, you're edging the tooth. You're edging the tooth. That's what I do, number four. <clears throat> number five, I'm starting to swish with water after every meal. I don't care what it is. Swish with water helps get some of the stuff off. Um, what else do I do? I use a tongue scraper at night. <clears throat> I'm using a mouthwash just at night. Um, oh, I got a Twitter on my go. Um, and what else I'm gonna tell you? Be very careful with teeth whitening. Do a little research about people who regret it and find out why they regret it. I'm one of those people. Three months of having Barbie shiny teeth in college to impress someone that you don't even talk to now. You don't even see, you don't even know who, you don't even know where they are. I mean, I was trying to impress all my friends and going to the club and going dancing, going to the bars. I don't talk to it. I'm, well, maybe a few of them, but they don't care what my teeth look like and how white they were. And I, 
I could feel my teeth just eroding my enamel. And that's permanent. That's permanent forever. <sighs> just don't bother. Honestly, doing a Sonicare or some kind of uh, vibrating sonic toothbrush will whiten your teeth anyway because it t cleans it very well. If you want to whiten your teeth, do it once and then continue with the rest of your life with a sonic toothbrush, you'll never have to. I never whiten my teeth ever. Look at this. Never. I never whiten my teeth. I haven't whitened my teeth for so many years because they're clean because I use a sonic toothbrush, not a regular one. I personally don't like the regular toothbrushes because you go like this and what are you doing? You're putting pressure and tension on your gums. Now, a little vibration very fast can break down the plaque and stuff but you're not putting pressure and you're not having to use any kind of movement which in my experience and what i've read and what i personally enjoy i feel like going like this can erode your gums faster than just taking a sonic toothbrush and going like this not putting any pressure let it vibrate gently it gets cleaner but it's gentler on your gums and it's cleaner there you go. Dentist Nick is done talking. I should be a hygienist. I literally went to a dental cleaning in Pennsylvania last time I was, and um, and guess what? Guess what? Guess what she said? I literally had to tell the hygienist how to floss. I'm just like, at first I asked her why are you using that floss. I'm like, I like the flat ones, the sharp, the the regular string ones, sharp. They're bad for your gums. They erode them. They don't do as efficient job. She's like, oh yeah, I agree, but this is what we use at the dentist. I'm like. Well, if you know that this isn't the best, why are you giving this to your patients? And she's like, well, this is just what we order. It's probably a little cheaper. I'm like, the difference between the bad floss and the good floss is probably a couple dollars for if you buy in quantity, you're a dentist office. I'm like, really? You're gonna give someone that you know is not the best for someone's teeth because you need to save a couple dollars? You charged me $300 for this visit because I didn't have dental insurance at that time and I was just a walk-in. I'm like, oh my God. And then when she was flossing me, she was not flossing me correctly. She was just like, plop, 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 just right in the middle of the teeth. Not edging the sides like the Thailand dentist told me. And I told her that and she's like, oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm just like, you're the hygienist. Why am I telling you how to floss? And it's nothing even just like pointing her out. Up until the current dentist office I'm at, which I really enjoy. Um, ooh. <sighs> um, they all don't know how to floss correctly. Not a, none of them do. I just think about my whole life. I've been to like 10 dentist clinics as an adult in the United States because I've moved so many times and I've traveled too. Well, maybe I've been to like 10 clinics in total. Yeah, let's see, Malaysia, two in Thailand, one in Singapore, three or four in Colombia. And then there's one that I really liked that I kept going to after that. Um, and then, oh, so yeah, it's probably been 20 because I think about it my whole life and we've mo I've moved. Oh my God, I lived in New York. I lived in D.C. I lived in Boston. I lived in Chicago. I lived in Tampa. I lived in Miami. I've lived all over the place. I've probably had 20 dentists experience. None of the hygienists floss my teeth. Well, maybe I didn't pay attention either when I was younger before, but at least up in these past four years ever since the dentist told me how to fall i mean i've been very aware and then i can remember a few, few years back i'm like okay yeah they didn't floss like that either okay i'm talking too much goodbye thank you for watching me eat take care of your teeth don't drink soda oh that's also i know i don't drink soda i don't it's not worth it i not even just for like my body and my physical health you know diabetes and everything <laughs> but i do care about my teeth now I decided for the end of the video, for those of you that took the time to listen to all my freaking rants about my teeth and everything, I just got done coming home. I used the low setting on my Sonic Care toothbrush with my um, Pernamel. I want to show you, because like with the lighting in the car, it looked like my teeth were perfect. They're not. Like I want to show you this translucency. All right. Now you can see what I'm talking about. Any dentists or hygienists watching this? Okay. See all that? The ends are translucent.
Look at that. Watch. You can see my tongue behind the tooth. Not my bottom one so much. My bottom looks, ones look okay, but the top ones, ugh. Look at that. They're like see-through. So some far, far away and blurry, hey, all the teeth look fine. But in actuality, they are see-through. Merry Christmas, everyone, and a big thank you to my patrons for supporting these videos, and a huge thank you to my executive producers, Jody and Jamie Baby Cotto. If you'd like to become a producer for Christmas and help support my channels, or if you just want to join the community to see what else I'm posting, come on over to my Patreon by clicking the link down below. You must be age 18 or older. And for something even more personal, gift yourself an eight minute long personalized video just for you. Or or book a video for someone and surprise them this holiday season. It makes a great Christmas present. We can also DM each other and chat one-on-one. -on -one. So if you want to watch even more content from me, come follow my Patreon. But if you want a personalized video or just want to talk, come over to my Cameo. Patreon and Cameo are both linked down below. Thank you so, so much. Merry Christmas. Bye.